<laughs> this is how it's done in Okanagan. <laughs> Hello everyone and welcome to the channel and a second last episode of our British Columbia adventure. We have started this day at another gorgeous location, Chain Lake West, British Columbia, that is located on an unpaved road starting from Summerland, British Columbia, and the road is called Princeton Summerland Road. It offers not too difficult rides for adventure enthusiasts. Along this road, you will find many awesome off-road sections. Unfortunately, we were not able to do any of them as we were running short of time and we had only two days left to get back to Calgary. From the recreational site in the morning, we started heading towards Trail BC through Princeton, Osoyoos, Grand Forks. The rest of highway from Princeton was paved and the BC Highway 3. It is very scenic road that offers spectacular views all around. We have stopped in Osoyoos for coffee and ice cream and a swim in the lake to cool off as it was another day with scorching heat over 30 degrees Celsius. This day we have covered almost 400 plus kilometers, plus all the stops, and we have arrived in trail quite late one of the longest days on this trip. I will include the Google Maps screenshot at the end of this video if anyone is interested to have a look at it. The stretch as we were leaving Osoyoos was probably the most spectacular and there is a scenic outlook that you can pull over and admire the beautiful Osoyoos landscape and the lake, lots of nice twisties before you reach the top. For the night, we have pulled into Beaver Creek Provincial Campground, located just over Columbia Riverbanks. You will see the views in the next video, and the last off-road section, Juaneta Highway and Juaneta Dam. So don't forget to tune in next week for the final episode of this awesome ride. Thank you for watching, and as always, please like the video, comment down below, share and subscribe. So we spent the night here at Chain Lake and had a quick breakfast and we'll be heading towards Princeton and slowly moving back in the direction back home. Beautiful area, a little recreational site and nice sights right on the lake. And again, we had a blast last night. Uh, guys on bicycles or mountain bikes came over to visit and uh, they ask if they can cook on our fire, so there's no problem here. And uh, this morning the guys are still packing up. Uh, I already geared up and had to get away from the sun because it looks like uh, it's going to be another warm day. It's uh, at 10 o'clock and it's uh, 26 degrees Celsius. So we 
have only 8.4 kilometers to Princeton now. Castle Guard, tam jest chyba. Beautiful out here. Look at that all around. So now we're heading towards Osoyoos through the side tracks. And admiring the beauty of British Columbia in plus Gazurian degrees Celsius. Straight ahead into the mountains, crash, crash, crash. If somebody wouldn't slow down, it would just go straight in, like a fly. It's 104 kilometers towards the Soyuz through here. Another pit stop just we before we got to Asayus at Mariposa fruit stand. We just bought some fresh fruits and cherries. The boys had something to eat here. Yep. 
and Bogdan is gonna show you how to how to steal cherries. <laughs> this is how it's done in Okanagan. <laughs> Caveman. <laughs> and there's the savage man. <laughs> now So you get the fresh veggies, fresh fruit, fresh fruits, garlic. So we'll be passing now by some fruit stands and little Okanagan shops full of tasty fruits. I don't think the apples are fresh picked this year because that's still too early of the season. But the cherries, that's for sure, because uh, we just had uh, some here on the trees right beside the store. It's extremely hot. The thermometer here on a bike shows 37 degrees Celsius. I can feel the sweat pouring down my back and belly. Grapes for wine. I wish to be here actually sometimes during fall time when everything is riping there we go there's more trees here those are apples actually by the looks of it and cherries are the cherries are still growing it's not the end of the season they're still on the tree i think that okanagan has to be one of the nicest parts of this of this country and the warmest everything from fruit import to wineries and breweries the cherries are almost five bucks a pound Ty już masz prawie rowerek. Kusia, ja cię wpuszczę. Obie nice guy, obie nice guy.
Haynes Point. So we made it to Ostoyos, quick dip in the lake, and we continue going towards the trail. The water is nice and warm. Mocha, <laughs> it's wet. Records maybe, yeah. So we are live, leaving Osoyos right now and we are heading towards trail. Trail is the next big stop and probably end of the day. This is a nice view on the road. Cable River! We're back to Cable River. 
Merhaba. Durum durum. Yeah. Oh my gosh, he lost the wheel. Look at all this lumber. And we're paying freaking fortune at Home Depot. It's a mining town. right now and we're heading to trail and that's where we're gonna start looking for a night uh, spot for a night 101 exactly well it's less than 100 now <laughs> because that was a while ago just about 30 40 kilometers away from trail just a quick pull out take some nice footage The view here is just spectacular. A few more twisties before we get down the hill. So we are approaching the trail. That's almost the final destination of the day. And we'll start looking for a place to sleep. Probably somewhere in a bush with bears. It's fine with me. And some coffee would be great as well. And something sweet. Sweet tooth kicked in about four hours ago and I need something sweet. <coughs> Yes, trail. The trail yesterday is uh, 8.6 kilometers. Oh, 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 that's the one that rides slow, apparently. <laughs> wow, now we are approaching trail, I think. Five kilometers left. And the runaway lane, just in case if we don't 
if we can't stop, we have a runaway ramp. If the brakes fail, let's hope not. Who needs brakes? Oh, 50 snowball. Gear it down, gear it down, 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 down. Yes, uh, four more case. Another deceiving town. Why there is no freaking uh, signs that you enter a different town? Or, or, unless we're missing them. Fine, dude. The, 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 my GPS shows me where Robert goes. Yo 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 On the trail in trail. As soon as we get down, it's get hot again. See. Welcome to trail. Still hot of beat, you know? Wow, this is... Cool bridges! It's, that's the Columbia River, isn't it? So we are approaching our final destination for today. Beaver Creek Provincial Campground. Hopefully we have a spot because the guys went there earlier and we went to pick up some liquor and goodies for the evening because normally we are already set up on the campgrounds but today we pulled a little bit longer because tomorrow uh, another big day to get home. <laughs> 